<laughs> so gross. <laughs> You guessed it, I'm all been out of shape about everyone's favorite <laughs> greeting card holiday. In fact, I'm so pissed off about having to deal with another February 14th where I'm left disappointed and underwhelmed that I brought along a friend with me today to help me prove my point even further. Please welcome my good friend, Nasia. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's good. Oh, come on, good. No. whatever. Uh, yeah, come on, come on. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and start things off. You all know I'm not shy about the fact that I love being single and I'm perfectly content on my own. But Valentine's Day has this shitty way of reminding me that it's another year where I'm not getting laid on the most romantic day of the year. Honestly, it's no better for married people. Do you understand the pressure that there is? Every year you have to be more romantic and top last year. At least you have someone to spend Valentine's Day with. You know, at least you're guaranteed to probably get A, a sappy greeting card with your husband telling you how much he adores you. B, taken out to a nice dinner with some good conversation. And C, you're guaranteed to get laid. You know what I have to look forward to on Valentine's Day? A box of chocolates, <laughs> a bottle of wine, and a big fat pack of Energizer batteries. <laughs> what, I'm not ashamed. Okay. You don't have to get done up for anyone. You don't have to remember to switch out your nursing bra for that frilly one in the back of your drawer. You don't have to sit through a dinner while your boob leaks wondering if your kid is freaking out, okay? And you don't have the expectation that sex is the end goal. If I don't put out on Valentine's Day, I'm a horrible wife. All I really want to do is sit on my couch with my box of chocolates. Okay? I brought it. I get what you're saying and all, but if Valentine's Day really sucks so bad for all of you married moms, why do you have to go posting all these pictures of your gorgeous bouquets of flowers online and sharing your lovey-dovey plans for the night? As far as the single moms are concerned, you're living a f***ing fairy tale. The truth of it is, men think that they have to do these grand cliched gestures and women think that they have to sex it up like Sofia Vergara. And honestly, I just want a night of low expectations and the only stipulation is that grandma takes the kids. That's it. This stupid f***ing holiday bites the big one no matter what your relationship status might be. Wait, I got an idea, I got an idea. Okay. Why don't we just ditch the men? You can come out with me, I'll take you out, we'll party it up, and then when we're done tearing up the town, you can go home and give your husband a little treat treat, and I can go home to my batteries and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. <laughs>